Hello and welcome to Quarterlight Your Car Brochure channel. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Citroen GSA. Hello and welcome back. And if you're new to Quarterlight, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube. Looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and sometimes beyond that as well. So if you're interested in cars and car brochures, please consider subscribing. Anyway, back to today's episode. Yes, the Citroen GSA. I've gone back to this very small brochure because I think it's a really good one to show the ranges. We looked at the CX, which is featured on the front today. We're going to look at the Citroen GSA. So let's have a look at that now. So there we go, I've just thrown it on the board really to give you an idea of how small this brochure is for anyone who didn't see this CX review. If you want to see the Citroen CX review, it was just done a few days ago, so have a look out for that. And of course, the CX there is proudly on the front, and indeed the CX is one of my favourite Citroens. Do like this brochure, even though it's tiny, it gives a good look at the full range of various different models. And I think at, at this time, this is 1981, May 1981, this brochure is actually. I think these are proper Citroëns, proper eccentric Citroëns. Citroëns how they should be. Anyway, let's turn to the page and have a look at the Citroën GSA. So the GSA range in 1981 was interesting. There was a few different versions. Starting off with this, the base model, the Special. And here it is, the base model, the GSA Special. Only thing about this brochure is, because it's so small, the pictures are very small. So I've zoomed in the best I can, made it as clear as I can. But as you can imagine, I have to zoom in a long way to actually get a good look at this. So this is the base model. You can see Citroëns at this time had those three uh, lug nut type design on the wheels. Uh, but unlike the um, Citroën CX, we do get two windscreen wipers. There you go. Um, and this is coming to the end of the GSA, replaced by the BX. Now, of course, the BX did go to the one wiper design, of course. Came out in 82, so we're certainly coming to the end of the GSA lifespan here. Um, GSA a much more complicated car than the BX, they tried to simplify things. I think I do prefer the GSA over the BX, although I did actually own a BX at one time. Anyway, the Special, let's learn a bit more about it. So the GSA Special, offering an extremely high standard specification, the newly introduced GSA Special Saloon costs less than the other five-door hatchbacks in the GSA range and many competitors' three-door hatchbacks. Uniquely aerodynamic styling, hydro-pneumatic suspension, automatic self-leveling and anti-dive, providing exceptional comfort and road holding, which allows the car to be driven even after a tyre blowout. Dual satellite controls on the well-equipped fascia, adjacent to the steering wheel, ensures that all essential controls are easily within reach. Additional safety features include dual circuit disc brakes, front wheel drive, protective passenger capsule, elastic bumpers and side protection strips. The reliable air-cooled engine helps provide excellent fuel economy. This advanced car represents a unique combination of style, sorry, comfort, style, safety and value for money. Specifications, it's got 1129cc, 56 horsepower, four-cylinder, air-cooled overhead camshaft engine, twin choke carburetor, four-speed gearbox, top speed of 93 miles per hour, independent high-pressure hydro pneumatic suspension, two-year 65,000 mile guarantee, anti-roll bars front and rear, anti-lift, anti-dive, dual circuit fully powered braking, disc brakes on all wheels, front brake pad wear indicator, independent front uh, emergency brake, built-in aerial with twin speakers, electric washers, two-speed windscreen wipers, with intermittent wipe, reclined front seats, cloth upholstered, 
Easy rear window, reversing lamps, high intensity rear fog lamps, hazard warning lamps, trip mileage recorder, warning lamps for low fuel, uh, failing oil pressure, low hydraulic level, swiveling ventilation entries, three speed fan, through floor ventilation options, metallic paint, tinted windows and a rear wash wipe. So yeah, surprisingly these special versions didn't come with a rear wash wipe as standard. Fuel consumption, rise at the bottom in very small print. You can see there at a constant 56, it's doing 44.8 miles per gallon, so pretty good overall. So the next model up in the GSA range in XE1 was the GSA Club. And there it is, the GSA Club in this particularly nice shade of blue overall i like the design of the gsa actually it was actually a very aerodynamic design very very um clever with that hydro pneumatic suspension as well but i think the design making it so aerodynamic was you know pretty much ahead of its time as citrons always tended to be in my opinion anyway let's have a look at some of the text and learn about a bit more about this higher spec model so, whilst featuring all the inherent advantages of the GSA Special, the GSA Club has a richer trim, an increased standard specification and more power, allowing a top speed through 5 gears of 100 miles per hour, while still achieving impressive fuel economy. Additionally, this model has the option of a durable free speed C-Matic gearbox. This enables the vehicle to be driven in any gear, though the gears can be used at will, without the fatigue of constant pedal engagement. All GSM models offer excellent loading capacity the saloons allow 15 cubic feet boot space and with the rear seats folded some 49 cubic feet of wholly usable space all in all an exceptionally equipped versatile and economical car so specifications we've now got a 1299 cc 65 horsepower four cylinder air cooled light alloy overhead camshaft engine with a five speed gearbox giving it a top speed of 100 miles per hour independent high pressure hydro pneumatic suspension anti-roll boys front and rear anti-lift anti-dive dual circuit fully powered braking disc brakes on aerial and twin speakers disc brakes on aerial and twin speakers a bit of a strange sentence anyway dual satellite controls electric washers two speed windscreen wipers with intermittent wipe reclined front seats cloth upholstered heated rear windows reversing lamps high intensity rear fog lamps halogen headlamps hazard warning lamps trip mileage recorder warning lamps for low fuel failing oil pressure low hydraulic level Swiveling ventilation entries, three speed fan through floor ventilation, carpet, cigar lighter, rear armrest, electric clock, options for metallic paint, tinted windows, sunroof, again rear wash wipe was an option, and that C Matic gearbox. Fuel consumption now. For the 5 speed at a constant 56, we're getting 40.9 miles per gallon, so still very good. For that C Matic, it drops to 39.2 miles per gallon, so not surprisingly, not a huge uh, loss of miles per gallon there. And yes, like the CX, we do get some practical estates for the GSA as well. So I, I really like the designs of the estate. Sometimes the estates don't look as nice, but I think the GSA looks just as nice, if not even nicer as an estate. Very practical, of course, and obviously that hydro pneumatic suspension really helping and providing a very useful um, car as an estate. Showing it as two versions, the Special and the Club. You can tell by the different wheels, you know, we've got the Special over here. And then this is the club next to it. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the text. 
so the GSA Special and Club Estates take full advantage of Citroen Hydro pneumatic suspension, unique in being fitted to a medium range car. It ensures real comfort for passengers and security for the cargo, even over bad surfaces. The constant height between the body of the car and the road, whatever the load, keeps the steering geometry constant, resulting in no variation in driving control and consequently excellent handling. The suspension also encourages uh, determined road holding, each wheel having independent action, front wheel traction and dual circuit braking further complement safety. These well designed estates can be filled to the very back of the platform providing 53 cubic feet of wholly usable space. The floor dimensions are square and flush and no wheel arches intrude. As with the saloon, GSA estates are purposeful, designed, well equipped and represent superb value for money. I think if I was choosing one from the GSA range I'd certainly go for an estate I think. So specifications, low capacity 23 cubic feet, 53 cubic feet with seats folded, power braking, front and rear wash wipe, two speed windscreen wipers with intermittent wipe, heated rear windows, reversing lamps, rear fog lamps, twin speakers and aerial, dual satellite controls, trip recorder, reclining front seats, clop off cloth upholstery, hazard warnings, comprehensive range of warning lamps, three speed fan, GSA Special's got that 1129cc, 56 horsepower, four cylinder air cooled light alloy overhead camshaft engine, four speed synchro mesh gearbox, uh, options, metallic paint and tinted windows, and then the club's got that larger 1299cc, 65 horsepower, four cylinder air cooled light alloy overhead camshaft engine, five speed gearbox, carpet, halogen headlamps, cigar lighter, clock, options, metallic paint, tinted windows, and that C Matic gearbox. So the estate um, will do that. This is going to be the special. Constant 56, 44.1 miles per gallon, and the um, the club estate as a five speed. Constant 56 is 41.5 miles per gallon, and then that C-Matic Constant 56 at 39.8 miles per gallon. And then, like with Ford and the year models, GSA's top model was called the Palace and was really the car you aspired to have as a Citroen enthusiast. And there it is, it doesn't look massively different from the outside but really lovely seats on the inside. If you ever watched Hubnut, he's got a black GSA, it's actually got the GSA Palace seats in there so if you look at that it's got really nice seats. Although I think it's actually just a special with the seats lifted out of the top of the range model. Anyway, let's learn a bit more about this GSA Palace. The GSA Palace is a luxury car really appreciated when it is seen and driven. This model boasts the comfort, safety and style as well as the other qualities of the range and with additional of extra fitments reaches the zenith in its class. In spaciousness the GSA is big and strong, roomy and relaxed, ample for carrying five adults without stress. Contoured seats achieve real passenger ease, complemented by the high degree of noise suppression. Ride comfort, unyielding road grip, grip and obedient response to control allow even the most tedious driving experiences to become pleasurable. Lavish equipment matches luxury of finish. As with the club, C-Matic is available to eliminate the main stress of town driving. Other options such as metallic paint and sunroof give the discerning owner extra opportunities to personalise this car. As with all Citroen cars, the GSA is subjected to an exhaustive progression of quality control tests and treatments against corrosion, procedures specially designed for the UK. 
That's interesting. I'm not sure what it's really trying to say when it says procedures specially designed for the UK, really. I don't know if that's just something they've just thrown in there to say, you know, you know, it's got rust treatment in there and yeah, it'd be good for the UK because lots of rust treatment or is it trying to say that there were actually procedures designed against corrosion for the UK? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they did anything extra for the UK, put it that way. But I do think they held up pretty well against rot. And I know the BX seemed to really stand up very well against rot and had some materials in there that wouldn't rot. Um, and they certainly stood up well. You don't see many GSAs, but I don't think they were bad for their time. Specifications, so a 1299cc engine, 65 horsepower, four cylinder air cooled, light alloy overhead camshaft engine, five speed gearbox, and that top speed of 100 miles per hour. So additionally to the full stylish equipment of the GSA Club, are extra uh, sorry, smart extra fitments, digital electric clock, external mirror, adjustable from within, rear window wash wipe. Oh, we do get rear window wash wipe now as standard. And if you notice, Hubnut's one doesn't have rear wash wipe on his. Rich carpeting, capacious pockets, backing front seats, luxury quality upholstered stretched to door pockets, adjustable head rests, extra soundproofing and then the options of metallic paint tinted windows sunroof and a cinematic gearbox five speed then is doing 40.9 at a constant 56 and the cinematic is doing 39.2 at a constant 56 so like i say really the one you really wanted if you if you didn't mind not having the estate very unusual colour as well this one not sure what colour this is but I don't think I've ever seen a GSA in that colour so there you go the little uh, Citroen GSA I really like these cars I must admit let me know if you've ever owned one or what you think about these little cars did you prefer this or do you prefer what came next the Citroen BX I know when the other times the BX it was all about less time in the garage less servicing as it they try to make it a little bit more simpler and therefore more reliable thank you so much for watching course light today many more episodes to come in the near future so please do like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon all the best and goodbye